just got to Bozeman, Montana. We are about to go and pick up our rental car. So because Montana is known for huckleberry, we got some huckleberry lollipops. Cheers. So this is our first stop in Yellowstone, <laughs> but I think this is one of the best oh things I've seen. like chalk. Like I think it smells like if you peed out eggs. <laughs> See that? Here it is, right in our face. Oh, yeah. oh. Get a nice Ugh. spot. This one looks like a miniature uh, volcano. We just checked in into our adorable little motel. Uh, we got to the West Yellowstone. That's where we're we gonna stay while we are in Yellowstone. Yeah, so we're in Montana and um, I need to get gold. And of course, uh, huckleberries. Huckleberry things. Huckleberry things. Oh, my goodness. oh man. Huckleberry coffee? Hand and body lotion? Huckleberry okay. punch cup. Punch cup. This 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 is ah uh, that's a gem. Yeah, how adorable is this? It's called West Park Mall. Tiny shop. So for cute. Your shopping convenience. That's all you need. Too yes. much too much options is not good. Um, we got some food and um, first we got the salad. But because Montana is obviously known for huckleberries, this is a huckleberry um, margarita. This is the second day in uh, uh, Yellowstone. It gets really hot during the day, but in the mornings it's so chilly. I wasn't hungry when I woke up, but then when you come out outside, it smells like, uh, um, I don't know, syrup or something, or maybe some pancakes. Bison. Look at them making uh, their own geysers. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say that they have sweaters on. Sweaters and horns. Oh, little ones. We finally got to the Lily and we are just gonna go um, and have some lunch, probably at the Slamar River. As we were walking down, to the river and he just said that his only concern is that we um, might be walking through some poison and stuff but we made it um it took us like 10 minutes maybe even yeah. less so beautiful it's only worth the potential poison ivy yeah exactly <laughs> our lunch is right there this is our lunch spot pretty nice our chairs, pretty good looking chairs, beautiful view. Slippery and refreshing. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Too cold? Oh, wow, yeah, it is cold. Is trying to cross the river, it looks like. I just love it so much here. The river is so clean and so refreshing. And nobody's here, which is awesome. Beautiful place to just relax. That is just so incredible. It's basically, the, I feel like it's, it's boiling water. So it's 
really hot spring water just flowing down into the river. So yesterday we went to the uh, Grand Prismatic Springs, but we went on the lower, I guess, level to see it up close. But um, people are saying that it's a much beautiful view from the top, so uh, we are about to hike for about 20 minutes. So we made it to the overlook of the uh, Grand Prismatic uh, Spring, but in my opinion, actually, I think it looks much better when, when we are closer to the spring. When you're closer to it, you can feel the heat and like all of the colors a little bit like more, like, I don't know, saturated, I guess, in my opinion. Just parked, going to uh, the Old Faithful geyser. We think we have a while to wait for <laughs> Old Faithful. Christina's chilling while I get the wait on watch. My job is to scream bloody murder if it starts going <laughs> off and she's asleep. <laughs> going on this uh, old faithful area back country trail and uh, they say beware of the bears and I'm really scared and he's saying it's gonna be fine I hope it will be fine I really don't want to encounter the bears it's not like some like trail that people really go on the orange do you know what it means what trail that is closer to red the bigger the bear <laughs> <laughs> Besides being uh, possibly eaten by bears, we are on the active volcano. We're, in the yeah, active, we're volcano in active volcano area. volcano area. That's what the... Oh yeah, Yellowstone Caldera. That's like an active volcano, volcanic area. Yeah, so you see the bears or a volcano. So we've been walking for about 25 minutes. No bears. We heard some kind of roar. <laughs> yeah, we did actually. We could have been our stomachs. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we just got to nowhere. No view, no energy. Gonna rest for a little bit here. Get um, a snack of uh, an athlete. Fritos! <laughs> and this is how you descend a hilltop. That wasn't impressive. There it is. The power walk. And the light jog. We're back by the Shoshone Lake, which is gonna be right over here to my right. Not easy to see, but it's through all down, those thick trees. All right, so we actually got to a better viewing spot. Pretty incredible. Some more volcanic um, ashes. These are probably volcanic rock. So it looks like at some point these were also active geysers. Looks like there's still some water boiling, but it's not as crazy as Old Faithful, for example. So this one is called Black Bull. Andy's saying because of its depth. I say because they were running out of names. We got to the Abyss. Abyss? Abyss? Abyss. Looks very similar uh, to the Black Bull, actually. But beautiful nevertheless. So this is a sapphire pool and it's pretty awesome. There's this jewel geyser that goes off every four to ten minutes so we're just waiting for it to pop. <laughs> okay I like this one better than Old Faithful. You get to get so much closer and you don't have to wait for three hours for it. <laughs> It's insane, like all of these things where you, did you see the steam coming off of bubbles. and the bubbles. It's just basically the earth is on fire right now. <laughs> it's very and we're just walking here, taking pictures, <laughs> no problem. And there it is, morning glory pool. Wow, actually it looks pretty incredible. How beautiful are these colors here? Yeah? Guess what? <laughs> we're in the hike again. This one is a one mile, but as people told us, it's well worth it.
we got a little bit higher up to look at the waterfalls, but look how pretty this view is also of the valley. So Andy was trying to smell the, the pine cone to make sure the pine cone smell comes from the pine cones. They don't smell, but he poked himself in the eye, so now his eye is super red. Kids don't smell pine cones. All right, back at it. We are at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Let's see how grand it is. Oh, it's pretty grand actually. Oh, there's another one. It's a big one. <laughs> Grim Trail first and then do the lower trail or which one? Let's do the lower first. No, the north. Whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we made it down. It wasn't a bad walk because it was downhill. It's gonna be much harder to go up, obviously. So we have only one towel, and we're trying to share it. Every and man for himself. It's good, actually. Okay, 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 okay. It's good. Sure. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, so this is like make your own sandwich. Look at that in the lake. I'm not even sure if actually you're allowed to swim in this lake. Definitely worth it. It's good to, to swim in the cold water. Smell like onion. What's this? It was very enjoyable to hang out at the lake. Okay, and he just said that he found his bear and that bear is right there. Finally he found a bear. <laughs> Look at that outfit. <laughs> Oh my god. Scary. Wow. I did not expect this type of dinner. Anyways, we got seated um, at the table. So uh, if you want to order something, you just have to flip this and they will know that uh, um, we need something from the waiter. music it was pretty fun um, and now we are gonna wait for about an hour and uh, we are gonna go to the roadie so we also got some hackle hackle beer here. Cheers. Cheers.